Welcome back. So in our Jenkins series, today we are going to see uh, the Jenkins pipelines. So in our previous session, or we have seen how we can, uh, what do you call, create a pipeline and then few of the details about different types of pipeline syntaxes, like the declarative and scripted pipeline. And we have seen kind of the benefits of each one of that. So today we are uh, going ahead with one more topic on the same pipelining. So where we are going to see how we can run the Maven test using the Jenkins pipeline so by using the UI we have seen already how we can create a Jenkins job and then run our Maven test even we have seen the parameterization in Jenkins and uh, so if you're not sure how to do that please do watch my previous uh, video sessions you will get more details so today we are going to see the same thing but using the syntaxes so as we know that jenkins pipeline syntaxes are two types one is your declarative and uh, your uh, scripted syntax so we will be uh, looking into these two types how are the syntaxes or the difference in the syntaxes to run the maven test okay so uh, we will basically uh, uh, will do kind of pulling the code from the github which we have seen in our previous session but today we have to pull the code and then we have to use the maven tool to execute the test cases okay so that is what we are going to see so for this um, what we have to do we have to first create a pipeline job but before to that let me just uh, give you one information actually so if you guys are using a uh, mac operating system and for the first time if you are trying to pull the code from the github you might get an error actually here like it is saying so it's a standard error which it is saying xerun so xerun is basically the command line for xcode actually so it will if the xcode is not installed on your system then you will be getting this kind of error actually so if you are going to the pipeline syntax utility in the jenkins to what you call download the git repository or to know the syntax actually that time you might uh, get this error actually so this is because you don't have xcode installed on your machine so if uh, if you are getting like this error i would suggest to go and download the xcode from apple developers so you have to go to the apple website and log in with your apple id if you have not created please do create one and then install the xcode first before moving ahead so that is one thing you can do that as a prerequisite fine okay so now let's move to the jenkins and create a jenkins pipeline so for the first i will be creating a scripted syntax so for this what i will do i will go to the jenkins and here i will create a new job and then maybe i'll give uh, maven test and then here i will say scripted okay so scripted syntax i will be using and select on the pipeline and click on ok now here you can give any description that you need but you have to come down to this section because we are using the Jenkins pipeline not the Jenkins file so I have to choose the pipeline script only okay so let me just quickly copy paste this particular uh, code and then I will explain you one by one so I will just copy paste these things and let's do one thing I will just make it as uh, proper formatting so that you can see these things and this one i will be deleting because uh, uh, if you are using the git credentials and everything it will not be same as of mine and with yours it will be different so you have to create your own i will be showing you how to create your own ways we have seen already in our previous videos but then again i will be showing you guys that from the scratch okay so fine so this is basically the what you call the script or the syntax of the scripted pipeline actually okay where we have to have a node keyword and then each stage we need to put by using a stage syntax but you will see something new actually here so this is actually where it is dealing with your maven test actually so two things we need to do one is download the code base and then run the maven test by using the maven tool actually now how do this jenkins know that you have maven installed for this you have to go to the manage jenkins and then come down to the global tools configuration 
and then if you come back uh, scroll down to the bottom you will see a maven section here now once you click on this maven installations uh, section you will get so basically while you were running the uh, selenium tests or apm test into your machine you would have the maven already uh, you would have set up the maven right if you are not sure we have another video session uh, video session which says about how can you install a freshly maven and then work with your selenium tests okay so the only thing that you need to do is that you need to put the name of any name you can give and then path of your maven wherever it is installed so if i go to this uh my just give me a moment so if you go to the finder you can see here the apache maven is uh, downloaded under this and then you can just find out the path of that and then paste it here that is the only thing you need to do and then click on save okay fine so after you do this one then what you need to do come back to your existing so you have to just do one thing actually here let me just maximize this one so that you can see clearly so you can see so node and then here you need to define a variable actually and the variable name is maven underscore home so this is basically the name that is coming from the global tools configuration or whatever you have given here you might have given maven or maven underscore xyz so that name you need to give here so tool and then in single quote you need to provide so that Jenkins will go to so anything that you are mentioning with the tool keyword Jenkins will go to this global tools configuration to get the path so that the executable can be accessed to this job that is the main important part so you are defining with a variable and then after that you can do your own checkout or else you can even do delete directory if you want to delete that at the moment and then you have to checkout checkout means you pull the code let's say you want to pull the code so i have already explained in our previous session but you can just pull the git and then if i go to this and then github and then let me show you that so my repo is under this github you can even try it it's free to use so you can just copy paste the path and then you come back here and you enter that see at this moment if xcode is not installed basically for those who are using the mac operating system in windows i don't think you will get any issues with this but then if you're using mac make sure that you have xcode installed already and then you have to provide the access okay so for me this is the access if not you can just add it here whatever you uh, the username and password uh, the git credentials and then you click on the generate script and because it is master i don't need to specify any branching here so i will have to go here and then copy paste that one okay this credential id whatever i have might not work for you you have to generate your own so based on the user i think it is encrypted one fine now build the code basically we don't need that i can delete it because the stages are not mandatory if you need you can give your own user defined uh, what you call stage now here just to understand that i mean this maven home is basically giving the path of your maven if you are not sure if it is giving correct one you can just give this one echo and then the maven home uh, the variable so then you will get the path of that particular maven from your local then if you want to execute this now see this is a selenium project right and basically i am executing this testng.xml now if you want to run from command line let's say if you want to run it from your command line how do you do that so you are basically going and opening the command prompt with this location wherever this repo is there and then you will say maven mbn space test right that is what you are going to do so the same thing i am doing here so sh is basically if you are using windows operating system you have to use bat actually bat because i'm using mac so it should be sh cell script now here maven folder is here and then hyphen bin hyphen mvn so this determines the mvn command so if i go to this finder again and i will have to go to my user you can see under your bin mvn command is there so that's how jenkins is accessing the mvn command now test test means it is executing all the test cases 
now the rest if you have any other stuff like deploy or else test case uh, report generation all those things you can do and these are not mandatory as i said and now mvn test any other parameters you want to provide like for an instance if you want to uh, what do you call use some specific test cases you can do like this so hyphen d test equal to you can provide the package uh, sorry so the package name dot the test case name directly you can specify even you can use the categories hyphen d category if your test cases are categorized like at the rate tests are categorized you can use those things as well so it's very common actually i mean how you are accessing the command line mvn commands the same parameters you can use it here just the way you are executing that differs the way we are syntaxes we are using is kind of different fine so this is straightforward it is first deleting the workspace if you have already anything then it is basically pulling the code from the git repository and if you uh, if you have already any github repository you can provide that path it's not mandatory that you have to use this particular repo but yes your all of your source code should be in that github actually and then it is basically running the test that's what we are going to see at this moment so let me just apply it and then save it and then if i do a bin now then it will execute the selenium test cases so let me click on the bin now and it ran all the test cases let's see the test case result so it failed let's see if it is the jenkins configuration fail or the test case failure so as you can see the checkout phase is done which it is pulling the code base and then you will see here we accord the uh, maven path right so that's where it is coming and you can see the entire path it is coming to run the test cases and then as usual it is picked up two test cases and then it ran everything but it seems like yeah you can see two test cases got failed let's see what is the problem actually why did it fail okay so as you can see here it is not able to find out the product level i mean it, it did not pass the test case but as you can see it it launched the browser okay and everything happened but then it failed uh, maybe the locator that we are using is not the correct one okay so that is the way you can uh, what do you call execute your test cases fine so th th this is the way actually we are using with the like if i go to this one and this is basically the scripted pipeline okay so because we have actually node here and all, everything now we will be seeing actually how we can execute the same one by using the declarative syntaxes okay as i was telling the declarative declarative syntax is pretty much new one uh, it's the recent one and it has lot more what do you call uh, benefits kind of uh, shortcuts are there which we can use from the out of the box so let's see that so uh, at time being i'm just keeping this as it is i will be creating a new job here so let me just create a new item and then here i will just say instead of scripted i will say declarative okay and then select the pipeline and then click on okay okay now everything remains same i'm not going to do anything i'll just copy paste the declarative one so let me just pull this one and copy this okay let me just delete this special character which is generating in copy paste and okay and this grid credentials like as i told i can generate my own because system to system it differs okay there is no other errors but yeah let's see how we can handle the maven actually in this now if you see as i was telling it is uh, i mean we all know that declarative syntax is basically starts with pipeline agent is any because i have only one agent and one jenkins instance only i have and then here you will see the syntax is bit different than what we have seen in our 
uh, scripted syntax so where we were giving like defining a variable equal to tools we were doing but this is kind of straightforward so it is allowing to create a new section actually in this pipeline where I will be mentioning tools as the keyword like stages how we are giving we have to give the tools and inside this any kind of tool that we have like gate maven gradle all those things we can use it here as usual so i will have to give this maven keyword and under this i will have to give the name that i have created there so it should be maven name right yeah maven home so i will be copying this one and then paste it here fine that's how you can do so it is very straightforward you need not to create a variable and everything now wherever i want actually i can use it as you were using in the command line so like if you see directly i can use this mvn tests and because i'm using mac as usual i'm using this sh keyword fine okay so now let's do one thing i think i have to give let's see that so this is one and this is coming for stages yeah everything is good i don't know why this is unexpected token i don't know why it is coming but yeah let's see if there is some error we will see that fine okay so here delete directory but yes we need to pull the code right so that is where actually we have to do that git pull actually so for this i can directly copy paste from my previous job which we created from here because uh, as i told the syntax remains same actually so i will just directly copy this one and paste it here fine okay so what this will do so this will first get the maven home or the maven path from my global tools configuration then it will pull the code i mean delete the uh, what do you call delete your directory if there is any workspaces present because this is a new job i don't have any uh, what do you call uh, workspace yet and then it is it will pull the code the same code only i'm using and it will just echo it and then click i mean create or uh, what you call it will just execute that test i think this is what it is referring i should have deleted yeah okay so let's see if it is executing or it is throwing some error uh, what do you call errors okay fine it seems like everything is fine okay so the only difference is that the way we are using the maven configuration in our jobs so i will save it and i will do a build now let me go to this console okay so as you can see the test case got failed again the same problem would have been there there is some problem with this class name it is not able to find it out i mean if you are using this code base you can go back and then change the css selector or if the id is not working properly but yeah i mean uh, the uh, what do you call it? it again executed the test case whatever we have so there are two test cases we have seen in the testng.xml so those two test cases got executed in here you can see there are two test cases and two test cases got failed passed or whatever the status is there okay so that's how you can use the declarative and scripted pipeline to execute your test cases again like it is not limited you can use mv and test and space like if you want to what do you call a group wise you want to execute or you want to execute a specific test cases like any parameters related to mvn command you can use it here actually freely there is no problem and again if you are using windows operating system make sure that this sh you are replacing with bat bat okay that's how it will execute your test cases fine okay so th these are the two ways which you can use i think in our uh, upcoming sessions we will see mostly into this uh, uh, declarative pipeline because i've seen most of the places because it is the recent one and it is more what you call flexibility so we will be using the declarative pipeline be it on gen using a jenkins file or any other stuff like even see uh, even this uh, what you call this syntax is whatever we are using it is not only to run the test cases but even we can generate uh, what do you call html reports we can even send an email report so whatever we have seen in our previous sessions by using ui those things we can use it by 
uh, what do you call by using this Jenkins pipeline okay so that's pretty much it for today so stay tuned and do subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not thank you for watching